Welcome everybody to Bell Ryan Elementary. I'm Mrs. Johnson, I'm the principal of Bell Ryan. I'm really excited today to show you around our beautiful new school. One thing that I'm really exceptionally excited about is having the space for all of our students. In the past, we had uh, one building that did not hold all of our um, kids and we had seven portables. So now we're able to all be in one space and learn and work together, which is very exciting and also have capacity to grow. So come on inside. I want you to meet one of our alum and a current parent to talk about what she's excited about our new building. Come this way. I'm excited about having this new building and the extra security that it has for our children and our families and our staff. Um, we didn't have this when I was going here when I was a kid or even my oldest going here years ago as well. Um, it's a secured entryway where we have all these glass windows so that way our staff can see who is buzzing in um, in order to come into our building and these doors are locked at all times and the only way someone can get in is by Miss Jackie letting them in. Um, so it's kind of exciting to have this brand new building and also to make sure that our kids are safe in their work environments. So we can also go on inside. Um, this is our second door that it takes in order to get in. And Miss Jackie will buzz us in. And it lets us go into our office area. This is the library. This is our new library. And what I like about it is there's a lot more like books. There's a lot more room for books and stuff. And um, there's also right here, there's a door into the computer lab and stuff. And there's just a lot more books and back here. And then we got new computers for the um, for the computer lab. I'm pretty sure the new ones are in there. Yeah. And those are our new computers. We play over here. Like as I said, Tenzies will play over here, right on the carpet, and or Miss Lukey, our librarian, will read us a book, which is really fun too. And these are all our tables and stuff. Welcome to our computer lab. Um, um, this is where we take our tests, and um, sometimes we come to we come here to uh, type. And um, if our teacher wants us to go on websites, um, she tells us on where to go. And um, and that's our morning news. And um, what we do is um, we put our uh, we somebody sits on that chair and. Uh, we record them and they say uh, our lunch and what's the weather going to be for today and uh, and the librarian sends sends it out to the teachers so the students can watch and know what's going to be happening today. The computer lab in the old school didn't have much color and um, this uh, this computer lab has better tables and better floor and uh, the roof the roof is better and it has a better board and it has more space. Hello, this is our beautiful new art room. <laughs> um, we have a fabulous his art teacher, Miss Krause, over there at our desk. <laughs> and um, the kids could sit at the tables when Miss Krause is teaching up there her when the board, because the board's up there, and so she shows what she's doing up there, which is makes stuff a lot easier. I guess it's just like more space is good, and also the floor her doesn't look like it's splattered with paint. Um, our building now is a split level, so we have basically three levels. Um, our gym and our cafeteria, um, our music room are at the bottom, and then our classrooms are on two main levels. Um, we have our primary classrooms on the main level, and then our intermediate classrooms upstairs. We have a lot of color in the building now. Um, each 
pod has um, a different color. We have green, blue, and orange, and that is great for wayfinding for our parents and for our students to locate their classrooms. Um, we also have beautiful new restroom spaces, and as you can see here, we're able to have the sinks outside of the bathrooms and as well as the water fountains. And that helps with monitoring for our teachers. One thing that's very exciting too is that we're able to hang artwork up outside of the classrooms very easily. Um, so our teachers can tack things up. We don't have to put tape on and ruin the walls. Um, and artwork can be displayed very easily. Um, so this is an example of one of our new beautiful classroom spaces. Um, every student got a new desk, new chairs. Um, as you can see, it's color coordinated. It's very bright. It's exciting for our students. Um, we were also able to get new Promethean boards for each teacher. This is a very nice and um, important addition to um, each classroom is the technology piece from our Promethean boards. Um, but as you can see, the space allows for adaptation of the desks. It also allows for small group meeting space. And most importantly, we just have a lot of space for teachers to build their classroom and work with their students in a variety of ways. Hi, my name is Lindsay, Miss E, and this is my ACP classroom. Um, we have a big, wide open room. Uh, we have great storage for all of our um, toys and activities. And one of the highlights of our room is our bathroom. Uh, the bathroom is great for us because we have a lot of um, self-help skills that we teach with bathrooming. Sometimes kids need to work on pull-up and training, potty training. Um, we also do brushing teeth, so it's great that we have a big, wide-open bathroom uh, right in our classroom. We don't have to go down the hall, it's just right there. So that's a major plus of our room uh, compared to rooms that we've had in the past. The gym and the cafeteria are separated between these two um, foldable walls. And this is where we have like our string performances and our band performances and chorus. Before, the cafeteria was the gym, but now it isn't separated, which I like very much because there's no food on the ground or extra spilt milk. Our designers, BCDM, did a great job in thinking about different spaces for our kids to learn. And we have this wonderful learning stairs um, here, and you can see the variation in color, but we can use it for a variety of things, like a really quick um, teaching opportunity for kids. We can have a lesson up here. As staff, we can meet here. We've taken photographs here. Um, but again, it's just another space for our kids to learn and for our teachers to have opportunities for teaching. So excited to have two separate parking spaces. At our old building, we had um, very minimal parking and a very tight space for our buses to load and unload. And we even had to use um, Walnut Street next to us to load and unload buses. So now we have this beautiful back space um, where our buses can load and unload very safely. Um, kids have a short walk to enter the building. Um, and then on our other parking lot we have capacity for a lot of staff members and guests to park and we're able to unload buses up there and then our families can also come and drop off and uh, pick up their child each day in the past we had to have parents park down by the church next to us and they had to walk um, in winter and in rainy weather to come and pick up their kids so we're really excited that they're able to come close to the building get students and drop off